What's up guys, Gamebreaker here, bringing you episode number 25 of Factions here on Cosmic PvP. Having a good time hanging out in, uh, would it be Pat's side of the base? Anyway, he's hanging out AFK, uh, just doing some grinding for himself over there while he's AFK. I'm hanging out here today, you guys know what we're gonna do. We are going to be checking to see if we can find any more books for our, uh, library collective, anything we can add. So first of all, what we want to do is we want to look for those books on the auction house that have uh, really high success rates but aren't necessarily like the highest level. Like we don't want like the Prot 4, Prot 5, but we want like the crappy Prot 1 book that's at like 86%. That's what we want. So let's check just to see if we get anything good off the auction house right off the bat. Drunk 4, but that's way too expensive and not worth it because it's max rank. And I don't see much else of interest on the auction house. So, of course, you guys, if you like, be sure to leave me a like and subscribe. Your support's been awesome. Uh, by the time this goes up, we'll probably have more than 850 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. On that road to 1,000 subscribers, which is really cool. Which brings me to another... Actually, what's Pat been doing up here? He looks like he's been building some cool stuff. I have not been up here. I rarely log in. I only have a little bit of spare time to log in and play. So uh, every time back, I log back in, there's something cool and new in the base that they have built. And he actually made a really nice job. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll do our openings up in here today. It's actually kind of cool. I think we'll go hang out here and see if we can get any luck uh, from what Pat, I assume, has built up here. So we'll do our opening here. But yeah, on that road to 1,000 subscribers, be sure to tell your friends and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. The support has been amazing. So thank you guys very much for that. I do have something very special planned for you guys at 100 subscribers, or at 1,000 subscribers. You can't see my, my, my uh, hands are crossed there in my, my thinking position, the pensive position. Uh, we're going to be doing something really cool once we get to 1,000 subscribers. I don't want to hint at it too much yet, but I'm thinking about possibly setting up uh, our own server maybe. Uh, getting you guys on, haven't decided whether I'm going to do that yet or not. We'll see how quickly we get to 1,000 subscribers. Uh, and see if it makes sense financially for me to do that to get a server up for you guys. Maybe do some sort of SMP action. I'm sure you guys will like it. Um, but like I said, I don't know if that's really worth it. But it would be definitely really fun to do because I really don't have a ton of time for Cosmic. Because these episodes take so long to set up and so long to shoot and edit for you guys. But if it was just like an SMP kind of thing where I could just log in, have some fun, build some stuff, hang out with you guys. It would be a lot more fun. Uh, so maybe we'll do something like that in the future. Maybe it'll be like a uh five dollar to join thing or something like that i don't know we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it but first of all get us to that a thousand subscriber mark and we will talk about that in the future so let's see where that goes so first of all for this episode let us go ahead and take a look let's do a little bit more book opening uh, i grabbed up a couple from shotgun just a, cra a couple crappy books to throw into the collective so we have boom epicness 398 percent throw that in uh, as well as Lightning 3, 91%. Perfect. That is two more common books checked off the list. I will go throw those back in later, but you guys saw the animation right there. We've got them checked off. Uh, I forget where they are alphabetically, and I don't have the list up in the background, so I'll have to do that later. But I assume they'll go somewhere in there. Actually, we can make a guess. L for Lightning, H-I-J-K-L, Healing, L. Yeah, maybe here. -ish. I don't know. We'll fix, we'll fix it later. And epicness, I don't know, somewhere around here. Again, those probably not the right spots, but they're in there anyway. We'll fix those. Epicness, 98%, and lightning, 91%. Very good. So, let us go ahead and see what else we can come up with. We will start with, of course, the simple books and see if we can get anything good. If we got one out of this, that'd be amazing. We really shouldn't get anything with the amount of books that we have there already, but maybe we can just get one. What do we got? Insomnia 61, Insomnia 28, Epicness 49, Epicness 52, and what are you? Lightning 85. I think we've already got all those, so let's quickly throw those in the Tinkerer and see if we can get any useful dust out of there. Because dust still, of course, could be useful for us uh, because uh, we could be using that on some books down the line. So let's go ahead and ping all that dust, which turns into absolutely nothing, of course. Five dust right off the bat. All right, let's do the unique book. Still got plenty of these to get. A long way to go on the uh, collection book. As you can see, there's 104 enchants on Cosmic, which is absolutely ridiculous. That is just a crazy amount. But let's see if we can get anything here. Frozen, Paralyze, Obby Destroyer, Explosive, another Frozen, and another Paralyze. Any good rates here? 62 on the Obby Destroyer. Not a horrible book, but still. 70 on the Explosive, 35 on the Frozen. 10 on that frozen garbage. Ooh, 90 on the paralyzed one. That could be our ticket right there. I don't know if we have a paralyzed yet. Let's check the PV11 and see what we got. 
Uh, what are you? You're the gray, so paralyzed, molten, element, OP. I don't think we have a paralyzed yet, so it's got to be somewhere in here. We'll just throw it in there, but boom, that is a paralyzed one. We'll throw in any extras we get uh, into the book at the end. I'll show it at the end of every episode so you guys can see uh, how it's going, but that is good. I was happy, or very happy, that we we're going to get that and add it in there. So let's go ahead and tinker the rest. I don't think there was anything worth saving. Maybe except that uh, obsidian destroyer, but I really can't be asked. Ooh, got a dust there, so that's good. Making that progress. And one more. Nothing. What was the dust? It was a 3%. Pretty good. Stick that in the PV7. But a bing. We got a lot of 3%. All right, back into the books. Two elites, boys and girls. Can we get anything useful from here? From the nice room. But a bing, but a boom. Ice Aspect 1, Springs 1. Those could be good books for us because they're crappy books, but they could have good percentages. And we get... 21% 21% springs one garbage and 45% ice aspect one garbage no love from those books I haven't had a ton of time to come on Ooh, dust and collect books but that is very good we got another 2% elite dust that is all helpful I'm gonna help the cause in the end what do I have here a uh, death certificate from someone some Randy all right back into the PV1 we've got two ultimate enchantment books let's see what we can do here. Maybe we'll go down a level. We'll go down a level and see what's down here. So we'll open up one up here. I'm not gonna look. Cleave. Actually, I think that's max level cleave. That could, that could be a dangerous book. And from the other side, boom, Demon Forge 3. Any good percents. Cleave, pretty much split right down the middle. Nothing great there. It's a high level book, so I might keep it. Same thing with Demon Forged. Uh, and we'll hold on to both of them for now. I don't really feel like tinkering something that might be worth something down the line. So we'll hold on to those along with all of our other decent books. I have a beacon. Maybe we'll throw that down sometime. Also random TNT. Dust get in there. All right. We also have got plenty of crates to open. It is totally an opening episode for you guys today. So let's get these simples out of the way very quickly. We can get ranks out of simples, though. Ever since they kind of changed it up to make it so the panes don't really matter as much what color they are. You get some good stuff out of here, so we're hoping for some paper. Not, no, I said paper, not potatoes. Well, that was about what you would expect. Let's try again. Maybe uh, crate number two will give us something better, even if it's just a book. Books are good because we can open them immediately. Well, let's see what we get. Oh, all whites, that's exactly what we were looking for. Ooh, crate. I'm sure it's just a chest. Oh, whoa, unique cosmic chest, hello. I will take that, that is very good. That is much better than we were expecting. Let's tinker that crappy gear. Bing. Uh, well, that was real good, right? Yeah, all right. <laughs> bing, bing. Before I tinker something mildly useful. And that's it. Stick up that EXP. Bada bing. And we got the unique. Let's start off with this one. Let's go right into it. We got the other one right here. So we'll save that one for next. But let's see if we can get anything decent out of here. Going with the old rocket ship on this one. Hopefully we can get a little bit more lucky than we have in the past from these. All whites wasn't bad last time, so let's see if we can get anything here. Crappy boots, crappy boots, potion, and helmet. Nada, nada, nada. Uh, we'll tinker that at the end. Let's try the other green chest. Let's do the four corners this time. I haven't done the four corners in a while. And hope for some luck. Perhaps this will be the chest that gets us the rank and we can go nuts. I'm hoping for paper. Show us paper. Are you gigantic TNT? Well, lethal TNT is fine. Paper? No. No, I didn't mean a stack of paper bound in leather. I meant actual paper. <laughs> okay. Nothing there, but we'll take the book and we'll pop that right away. Maybe we can get lucky on... What is this? It's a wolf spawner. Hello. Play carrier. I think we might already have a play carrier, but that's okay. We'll tinker that anyway and get that into the good for us. Bada bing, 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 bada bing. Some EXP, a dust, which is nothing. And we got lots of random little EXP balls going on here. All right, and we'll throw out some of the garbage and we'll slash PV, get the TNT and PV 14 now. Any room for lethal? Oh, we do have room for lethal, good. All right, now it starts getting serious. On to the elite and then the ultimate cosmic chest. Elite chest has been kind to us before. Let's go home. Where's my home? I think it's home new, I want to say. <sighs> again, nothing in my side of the base. Again, I'm not on nearly enough. That's kind of why I want to play 
uh, something else kind of like a uh, an SMP with you guys because I'd have more time to come hang out and do fun stuff, whereas right now it's just an empty base that I come into occasionally to do stuff. But let's see what we can get in this guy. We're going to go with the old birthday strategy, which I believe is 10, 21, 25, and 8, I want to say. I'm not going to tell you whose birthday they are, but you can probably figure it out on your own if you've got... Uh, Working up them brain cells, and we got all greens in here. Let's see. We'll go low to high. Book. Okay. We need paper. Single papers. Not book paper. Single papers. That's what I'm talking about. How about another single paper? Boots and book. All right. So we got two books, and what's the paper? Fingers crossed for something good. $100,000. That is good. I will definitely take that and probably tinker about boots. But 100k to the good is always helpful. Smash those two books. Ba-boom. Trap and double strike I saw. Trap 60, double strike. You could be good to me. But you're not going to be. Not worth saving. So let's tinker those. And maybe we can get lucky with some dusteroo. We did. Oh! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. That's the kind of dust we're talking about. We got the 1% and we got the 10%. Elite Primal Dust, that is awesome, that's my first ever uh, Elite Primal Dust, so that is very good, I'm glad we decided to tinker that bad Larry, but a boom, look at that, we're rocking in the Primal Dust now, that is pretty cool, and very welcome, alright, tinker those boots real quick, bada bing, but a boom, 305, how are we doing for time, we're 12 minutes in, that is perfect for the ultimate. The one and only. How long has it been since the Envoy? 19 minutes. Maybe we'll hit up an Envoy after this and cap the episode up there. I think that's what we'll do. Unless, of course, it goes off while we're doing this. Anyone on the near? Just Pat hanging out in his base. We'll drop it up here. Could be a good one here. This could be the thing we need. What are we feeling for numbers? I think we'll go 9 for the potential 900 subscribers we might have by the time this episode airs. 25 for episode number 25, and 1, 2 for the good luck. Come on, guys. This is going to be a good one. I can feel it. Give us some good stuff. Pains don't matter. Don't care what color they are. Give us the paper, and give us a... What would we need? We want a legendary chest. That's what we want to come out of here. Come on. It's not what I want. We want a paper. What does it have? Anything useful? Pretty much nothing useful. Let's get in tinkered. Okay, book. That could be good. I'll take that. Chest piece with... Okay, Enlightened 3, Deathbringer 2. That's actually not a horrible chest piece. I've, I've seen worse. And the last one. Come on, baby. Give us something to go nuts about. Last one. Not looking. Is it a hoe? I'm guessing it's a hoe. What do we get? Oh my gosh, crappy boots, gears two, springs three. You're getting the tinker, my friend. Is all of us getting the tinker? You're getting the tinker. You're getting the tinker. I'll probably save the chest piece. Let's go ahead and put that in and save it for later. Oh, we also have a butcher kit to open for this episode. Lest we forget. Let's go ahead and open the book. Everything changes. What? Was that a soul engine? Are you nuts? Oh, we got a soul engine book from that. Oh, I didn't even see it, and then I saw the text was red. Oh, this episode went from 0 to 100 real quick. Oh my goodness. Oh, we have to open it too. We can't sell it. We're in the library collector. We just need this to be... Oh, whoa. I'm aghast. I am aghast. Holy cow, what is going on here? All right. I didn't even know you could get soul enchant books out of there. I might link it in chat just to get the guys riled up. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. FCP for public chat. Item... So it went 0 to 100 real quick. Woo! Wow, that is crazy. I was not expecting that in the slightest. That, that was something to yell about. Let me tell you, holy cow. Woo! Getting a couple of GGs in the chat. Let's go ahead and tinker that one real quick. Uh, not the book, that is, these things. I really don't want to sell that book because it's more fun. 
People saying they love my vids. Thank you very much, guys. The support you guys give me on these vids is truly amazing. Look at all this. It's just spamming up. We got a You're Bad, too. Thank you, Bad Magic. You're bad as well. I really appreciate that. <laughs> uh, yeah, like I was saying, the uh, the support on the vids is amazing. And in-game, I can't go, say, five minutes without getting whispers from you guys. So you guys are awesome. Keep it up. All right. Soul Enchant Book. Wow, this is going to be the first one I ever open. It's probably going to be my last because these are pretty crazy. All we need is the success greater than the destroy. That's all we need. Luck of the tie. Rocking the tie and the vest today. Hanging out here. Well, let's see. Where do we go to open this? I think we have to go to our warp. It's only fitting. <sighs> Heading over to the warp. Hanging out back where we've hung out this entire season. Let's go ahead and throw it in there. Brody Skipper, what's up, dude? I think you actually said something to me, so perhaps you'll be watching. Yo, he's looking. He knows. He knows. He knows. Come on, Brody Skipper. Give me some luck here. Give me some luck. On you, buddy. On you. Divine Emulation 3. Give us those rates. Give us those rates. Higher success than destroy. I can't see it. 11.79. No. Garbo to the Darbo. Oh no, we're gonna hold on to it for now. We are gonna hold on for it for now. <laughs> Item. Why? Why? <laughs> oh no. Okay. That was super, super exciting though. I'm so glad we actually got one. That is very cool. We'll hold on to it. Like I said, we're actually gonna go ahead and stick it in there. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and put it over in the case. We'll keep this behind glass doors for now. Uh, just to save it for later. Brody Skipper wants to trade with me. I'll trade with him in a second. So we'll go ahead and put this in. I, feel, I think Divine Emulation might be the one. Let's see what uh, Brody has to trade. Out of curiosity. What you got, bro? <laughs> Look the whispers. I'll buy for 150k. The trade canceled the rude sandstorm, bro. <laughs> Chat is absolutely going nuts. Woo, people saying they have donations. Yeah, I'm trying. I try to take them uh, as I can, but... There's only so much. You threw the sword to me. What did you throw me, Brody Skipper? Oh, thank you very much, my friend. I appreciate it. Uh, I'd respond, but chat's going nuts, and I, <laughs> I want to do that. So, All right, let us go back. Actually, we'll go ahead and hang out uh, for the next Envoy here. So I will rejoin you guys. As soon as we get into this Envoy, then we'll finish up the episode. So see you in a bit. Envoy, let's go. Come on, show us the boxes. I don't see any. Where are they? There's one. There's two. What do we got? Usually they go stuck up on the hill for a little bit. I also forgot to say we've got our uh, our butcher kit to open once we're done here. So we will go ahead and open the butcher kit as well and then end off the episode. See if we got anything interesting from these boxes. Looks like two is all we're going to snag for this round. I'm not going to kill anyone because why bother? We're a peaceful sort anyway. So let's go ahead and buzz back over to our derp. And crack those guys open and see exactly what was inside. So let's see. Again, pretty much only use this turf for seeing what we got. Uh, anyway. Whoa, Ink Sack. Hello. This episode just keeps getting better. We got one simple and looks like one very good chest. What do we got? Oh, wow. It is orange indeed. That is very cool. That's probably going to get tinkered though. That is, again, another good one that's probably going to get tinkered. And what do we get on the... I assume this is a black scroll. If this is an ink sack, I'm going to lose my mind. Black scroll. 52. <laughs> nah, it's like the worst black scroll you've ever seen. Oh, my goodness. What an interesting episode this has been so far. All right, let's just go ahead and put that in the PV1. Very cool to get. That is awesome. And let's quickly open up the G kit before we run out of time on our, let's see, camera because it likes to run for 22 minutes at a time and we are almost there. So let us go into, where is it, slash G kit. Finish this off, but a bing, and we get, ooh, Bloodlust 4 Overload 3, not bad, not bad. And on the axe we get, nice, Devour 4, but a crappy bleed and a decent cleave. Well, that is going to be it for this episode, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. And like I said, uh, subscribe if you haven't already and leave me a like. Feel free to comment. I always respond to you guys' comments. And let's try to get up to that 1,000 subscriber mark. Catch you guys later. See ya.